Shalom. Barak to Yahweh. Barashim. Yahweh Shai. Barashim Kakadash. All praises and glories definitely do, especially in the times we're living in. Much respects to the apostles and others of Great Millstone and to all the brothers out there doing the work. I say Shalom. All right, this is an article that came to my attention. And as you can see, you know, it states uh, Jesus talking about <laughs> the idol worshiping name that was given unto you by your oppressors. All right. Jesus statue toppled, American flag burned in NYC, New York City church attack. All right, which is considered a hate crime. All right, anything that goes against the truth is considered hate. All right, as we brothers that are in this truth, this ministry, all right, we bring forth the truth of the scriptures and uh, in turn, due to uh, YouTube, uh, you know, uh, rules and regulations, you know, they considered, you know, truth to be hate speech. And that's the world that you live in. All right. So um, that's the reality of things, people. All right. So it says here, due to the nature of the incident, NYPD hate crime, see? Hate Crime Task Force is investigating the crime. A statue of uh, your sweet Jesus was smashed and an American flag burned outside a Catholic church in Brooklyn in what cops are calling a possible hate crime. All right? Incident occurred around 10 p.m. Thursday when an unknown person hopped the fence of St. Antiochus Church in Bay Parkway at 61st Street in Bensonhurst. All right. The band who pushed over a statue of your sweet Jesus crucifixion, breaking it into pieces, and towards the American flag hanging outside the rectory, according to the cops. All right. Uh, the church's pastor, Monsignor David Casado, noticed the act of vandalism around 8 a.m. Friday, reported to NYPD. The Diocese of Brooklyn said in a statement, the NYPD's hate crime task force is looking into the incident. This was truly an act of hatred today. It is the saddest day of my 20 years here. At this parish, Casado said in the Archdiocese. Now, what these people don't understand is that, you know, Mark is finished, all right? And, you know, the genie is out of the bottle. The, uh, you know, the horses are out of the barn, you know, and the truth is out, all right? About everything, all right? This is not the image of the Lord. This is blasphemy, okay? And this is... Uh, an image, this is idolatry. This is a false image of worship, okay? Because the Lord is described in the scriptures, okay? He's described in the scriptures, all right? You know, as a matter of fact, give me a minute here. All right, you see this here? There's a video here. And uh, this is uh, put about Mysteries of the Kingdom, all right, trilogy, all right, put up by uh, Elder Alvarum, all right, out of uh, Alabama, all right, and go to right, it here. So, uh, I'm going to begin this lesson by all giving right. all praise, all in glory to Yahweh. All right, and what you see here to the uh, left of you is the image of the statue, all right? 
it was knocked down, which this is, you know, the images are basically all the same, you know, of some Edomite, you know, false idol worship, right? But to the right-hand side, you have the image of who is described in the scriptures, okay? And as it says here, it's titled, No Man Can Serve Two Masters, all right? So that's what this lesson is all about. Okay, and this was reposted by myself yesterday uh, and stuff. So, um, anyway, let's go to, uh, let's show you what the Lord is described as. All right, let's do that. All right, give me a minute. All right, this is Revelations, the first chapter, verse 13 through 15. And in the midst of seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to his foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Okay, see that? Who has woolly hair? All right, if you look that up, I have a dictionary, it goes back, I believe, 1931. And under, you know, the word wool, it'll say kinky hair of Negroes, right? That's what it would say, you know, besides the other descriptions of describing wool. It will have the kinky hair of Negroes, all right? Now, again, we didn't write you know, they're dictionaries, all right? We don't write them up, we don't print them, or anything like that, all right? That's Esau who does that, right? So that's in his own writings, okay? All right, so it says his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they'd been burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. Well, what happens to brass, and you put it in the fire and you burn it? Well, that's what our Lord, his complexion, right, would be. Okay, so he would be dark skinned, he would be Kadar, right? There's no such thing as black, that's demonization. You understand, people? All right, so you know, this image that you see here, all right, to the left, all right, that they call their sweet Jesus, all right, that you've been brainwashed to believe, and you have been. I mean, the scriptures are going to tell you that, all right. Not me, the scriptures are going to tell you, okay? So that's, it's all blasphemy, all right? That's uh, Esau putting up his own images, all right? And to the right, that's the real image of what is described. We just read it right here, all right? And, of course, the Lord is described in Daniel, I believe in the 10th chapter, all right? The Heavenly Father, which is, you know, he is made in the image of the Father, do you understand? All right. So let's uh, let's go to uh, let's go to Deuteronomy. First off, let's go there. Let's go to Deuteronomy. All right. Okay. Let's go to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 32, 37. What does it say here? And he shall say, where are their gods and their rock in whom they trusted? And this is what a lot of you all are going to say. All right? Because, you know, the shit is about to hit the fan. So when it does... 
because you're going to see more incidents like this, what they consider to be hate crime, right? Well, and, you know, the scriptures don't tell you to go do that. So I'm not condoning what this person did. But the point is, this stuff is going to happen, and it's going to happen more and more frequently, all right, as well as other things, which are a lot worse, okay? So... It says here, where are their gods and their rock in whom they trusted? Because this is who you trusted and put your belief in. Uh, and the scriptures are clear about idol worship. All right? And we're going to get into that in a moment. All right? First, uh, let's jump to Isaiah 45 and 5. All right? All right. I am the Lord, and there is none else. You see that? There are no other gods. All right? So the images that you've been given, all right, like the 16th chapel, all right? And we'll go to that. Give me a minute. There is no God beside me. I girded thee, and though thou hast not known me. All right? Okay, that they may know from the rising of the sun, right, from the west, that there is none beside me. I am the Lord Yahweh, and we say that because we see the word Lord in all caps in the Hebrew Bible, in the Hebrew text, which is read from right to left, right? It would be Yahweh, okay? That is the name of the Heavenly Father, and there is none else. There are no other gods. Okay? All right. Let's, uh, give me a minute. All right, here we are in Google, right? The 16th chapel. This is what we want to look at. Can you see that, people? All right. To your uh, far left, you see a naked Adam. And then you see him reaching out with his hand, and his finger is touching the finger of a man that's wearing a thing, and that is supposed to be the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and you see little uh, Edomite angels as well, and these are all Edomites, all right, and what is this? This is a false image of idolatry. This is them putting up their own images, okay, and this stuff is in the Bible. This stuff goes back... Uh, to the Maccabees, all right, first Maccabees, all right, I believe. Uh, give me a minute, all right, give me a minute. All right, this is first Maccabees, all right, in your Bible, 348. And they to open the book of the law wherein the heathen, all right, talking about Esau, Edom, all right, the Edomite, had sought to paint the likeness of their images. You see that? So this is even prior to the Renaissance when we look at this image. This image here is from the Renaissance. You understand that? So they were already doing it prior to that when they came in as the third beast, the Macedonian kingdom, calling themselves the Greeks. You understand? And it was no different when they morphed into the fourth and final beast of the Roman Empire. And when they came in for back into power for the third and final time, starting during the Renaissance, they put up their own images like this. You understand? All right. Okay. I believe you people get the point. You know what? We're going to end this here. We'll be right back uh, with part two. All right. Shalom.